get some visitors. What's going on, guys? Hey. You guys ready to eat some donuts? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's let's do this. Alright guys, it was very nice meeting you. I'm glad you guys got to come to 5 and try the legendary donuts. So, you guys enjoy your trip and take care. Enjoy. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Man, that was really cool. I just gotta say thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It's awesome to just have lots of friends and fans and stuff that watch my videos. And man, the support's great. Thank you guys. What's up guys, welcome to the video. So we are starting off another wicked cheat day. And again, it was super cool to meet all you guys over at 5 -0. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's really awesome and I hope you guys enjoyed those donuts. So it is currently 8.27 a.m. And we have some delicious donuts from 5 -0. And we are gonna start with the almighty Krona. Oh, we do have some fluff on there from uh, one of the other donuts, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Cheers, guys. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Damn, my day just got better. <laughs> mm. Yeah, hands down, donuts are my favorite thing to eat on these cheat days. They seriously can't be beat. Whoever is the inventor of the donut, I love you. <laughs> For real. Oh, and also, you guys already know. We got a Dunkin' Coffee here. Because coffee and donuts, that combination is just fire. Medium iced coffee with cream and sugar. All right. Next donut. So this donut was requested for me to get many times. It is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Donut. So I have had this one before, but I haven't had it in a while. We do have vanilla frosting, we have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then we have like a cream cheese frosting on top. All right, let's give it a whirl. Mm. Man, cereal is so good too. Wow. So yeah, the cinnamon toast crunch, like the cinnamony flavor along with the cream cheese on top, that combination is bomb. Especially on top of a donut. Mm. All right, so this next donut is called the Black Bottom Cheesecake. So we do have chocolate frosting with cheesecake filling, Oreo crumbles, whipped cream, and some hot fudge on top. All right, let's dive into this baby. Mmm, wow. That cheesecake is so good in there, wow. And it's got whipped cream, so that's like, that just made the donut 10 times better, because <laughs> I love whipped cream. Mmm. Dude. <laughs> that's crazy. Straight fire. Mm. 
Mmm, man, that combination. And this next donut is called the Dunkaroos. Let's uh, give this baby a try. Mmm. Man, that frosting. Oh. I love cake frosting. So this is vanilla iced. There's cookie dust on there, as well as some Teddy Grahams. And I don't know what the frosting is, but it's like, it's fire. <laughs> And we also do have coconut water once again. So as you guys may see, I do like what I like. And when I like something, I like it, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm just liking this combination of the coconut water with the coffee and the donuts. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, and I also did bring another, here we go. Oh, another protein bar. So it is the Supreme Bar, which I'm gonna eat very quickly. It is the Caramel Nut Chocolate one. I just wanna get in some protein with this meal. So this bar is 390 calories, 15 grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. I'm just gonna eat this really quickly. I know you guys don't really care. You're like, it's a cheat day and he's eating protein bars, but I don't know, I just like them. This one's good, but the peanut butter and jelly one's my favorite. Well, all right, we got two donuts left, and I did get six donuts this time. Last weekend, I did only get five, and I was kind of bummed. I was like, man, I'm out of donuts, so we did go with six this time. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So this one right here is called the Hot Fudge Sunday Pop-Tart. So vanilla iced Hot Fudge Sunday Pop-Tarts and whipped cream and fudge drizzle and a cherry. All right, I'll, uh, I won't eat the stem because I know a lot of you guys trip out every time I do that. So here's a stem, it's going in the box. All right, <laughs> here we go. Wow, so you guys know how I love strawberries and whipped cream. But cherries and whipped cream is pretty crazy too. That's bomb. So yeah, watch. This bite right here is going to be fire. Mmm. Damn, that's lit. <laughs> All right, all right, so the last and final donut, the saddest moment of the cheat day. <laughs> so this donut right here is called the Nana Fluffernutter. So it is banana and peanut butter filled, toasty marshmallow fluff top, and caramelized banana. Wow, I'm excited for this one. I've never tried this one. Let's give it a go. Mmm, bro. Look at that. That straight up tastes like a peanut butter fluff banana sandwich. <laughs> that is bomb. Mmm. You can see the banana filling and then the peanut butter right there. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro. You guys gotta try this. I'm telling you. Alright. The last and final bite of all these amazing donuts from 5-0 here in Sarasota, Florida. Cheers, guys. Woo! 
Yeah. Well, all right. That was just lovely. All right, guys, the next stop is Charlie's Steak and Hoagies. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, all right, all right, my friends, 1.55 p.m. So we didn't eat in the restaurant because there was people in there and it was kind of like a smaller place and I don't want to like set up the camera and bother anybody. So we did pick up the food and we are back home. We did stop at the store and I got some Doritos because I haven't had like Cool Ranch Doritos in a while and every single cheat day I'm like, oh, I want to get them. You know, like during the week I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want to get some Cool Ranch, but then I always forget. So we did stop and get some on the way home and let's open up this cheese steak here. Yeah, this smells good. Damn, here. So we got a order of fries and this cheese. Oh boy, look at this thing. <laughs> Woo wee. Bro, that looks so good. Look at that. Oh yeah, so we got peppers, we got onions, we got mushrooms, and cheese. Oh, that's gonna be good. All right, let's, uh, let's just dive right in because, I, oh wait, let me take a photo first. All right, here we go. Philly cheesesteak. That is just perfect. The bread's nice and soft. The meat's nice and chewy. The cheese is just the right amount. And the onions and peppers and mushrooms just come in and complement it. Mmm. Yeah. That is a solid chili cheese steak. Wow. Try some of these fries. Plus, you know we got the ketchup. That is a must. Let's also um open up these Doritos. Yeah, it's, it's funny because these fries taste just like fries and they look exactly as the Shake Shack fry. But the Shake Shack fries taste like almost like tater tots, it's, it's weird. It's funny how they do that. Team Big Mike, there we go. Mmm. Uh, and so I do have a scale right here because I'm going to weigh the servings of the Doritos, not that it matters, like not that I like have to do that, but if I have the scale, I might as well use it. So that way like my estimations are as close as possible. You know, a lot of people ask me, how do I estimate the donuts of 5-0? Um, I ended up weighing like 5-0's donuts and I weighed Dunkin' Donuts, so I compared them and then like with like the toppings and stuff. I just been doing it for so long that I have a pretty good eye for it and then I just kind of use like pretty close, like rough estimates. So for, these chips here. One serving is one ounce, so we're gonna do four servings. All right, that's four ounces, four servings. Each serving is 150 calories, if you guys are wondering. Mmm. <laughs> this is so bomb. Mmm.
Yeah, this fries are bomb. Alright, those fries were actually pretty bomb. We do have some smart water here. Alright, now let's finish this other half of the Philly cheesesteak sub. And then I have to say this thing is really tasty. Mmm. Philly cheesesteak Cool Ranch Dorito. Alright, and now you finish off these chips. They remind me of when I was younger. This was like my favorite chip. I used to eat these all the time. I used to eat them like this too. I, got, I always took like big bites when I was a kid. I would try to get like as many chips as I can in my mouth. I don't know, I just like to do that. Oh, you know what other Doritos is really good too? Spicy sweet chili. Yeah, the purple bag. Those things are fire too. But the Cool Ranch right here, these things are OG. <laughs> well, all right, meal two is down. Alright my friends, 5.36 p.m. We just got to Payway because I wanted like meat and rice, like basically like a, a saucy meat over rice and I was trying to think of a good spot to go to. I was gonna go to the UTC mall. There's like a little place in there that has like that style of food. I really like Panda Express but there's not one around here. I think there might be one up in Tampa which is like an hour away. But Payway is actually really good so we're gonna go inside and get some food. Here we go. All right guys, so we did go with the General Sauce Chicken, which is right here. And also we did get an extra bowl of rice. Love those cars. So, uh, let's uh, give it a try. Yeah, that's bomb. Has a nice little like spice to it. A little kick. I'm gonna just add its rice to it. See, this is where I need the Team Big Bite spoons because they don't have any spoons here. So, I definitely gotta work on that. Eating rice with a fork, it's just too hot. Like, it's just like... I 
have got an extra side on the sauce because there's a lot of rice here. So it's kind of overpowering, like, almost like there's not enough sauce to cover it all. And the drink that I do have is strawberry Sprite Zero. Of course, strawberry. <laughs> Alright my friends, it is 7.15 and we are going to get in a daily tray. We found some shade, it's nice and cool over here. But um, yeah, so last weekend I talked about my ankle injury, well last cheat day, and how it's been the worst ankle injury I've ever experienced. But I did go skating on Thursday with Steve Rodriguez, he's the owner of Fibro Skateboards and if you guys did see my 9 Club interview, I will link it up above. Um, I basically talked about my entire life growing up being a professional skateboarder breaking my neck and kind of You know pretty much why I live the life I live now and like what I've overcome So if you guys didn't check out the interview, I will link it up above you guys should definitely check it out I think you guys could benefit from it So Steve and I did go skating and then uh, we skated the st. Pete skate park and I got warmed up and I just felt like I was like 100% better and like I filmed the line which I'll play right now Yeah, I'm good And it just felt like super good and I was like man this feels amazing you know so I was like really stoked and yeah so I'll be skating a lot more it does take a little bit to get warmed up but once I get going like I feel pretty good so let's get in this daily trade right now all right guys we are back 8 42 p.m. So we do have a box from a subscriber as well as some more goods over here. So I did just go to Walmart and I picked up some ice cream. So we did get the Hagen dogs vanilla Swiss almond ice cream. I've never had this flavor before. I did get a strawberry shortcake because I wanted to try Walmart's. So last week I did try the Whole Foods, which was really good. So I wanted to try that. And also while I was in Walmart, this girl named Grace came up to me. Well, obviously she, I didn't know her name at first, but She's like, hey, I just want to say hi, watch your YouTube channel. I was like, oh, no way, thank you so much. And I was like, oh, I'm filming a YouTube video today, but the, I left my camera in the car. And um, she's like, oh, no way. I was like, oh, is there anything that you recommend? She's like, oh, the donuts here are pretty good. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. Which one? She said, vanilla ice. So we do have a vanilla iced donut from Walmart. So Grace said, this is good. Let's see if it's up to par. It smells pretty good. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, thank you very much, Grace. I appreciate it. And I also appreciate you watching my video, so thank you. <laughs> Mmm. I love donuts. Alright, now I want to dig into this strawberry shortcake and then we'll open up the package and then eat the ice cream along with it. So, this is the strawberry shortcake. 
parfait from Walmart. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. I think I need more strawberry in there though. That bite was all cake. Let's get some of that strawberry there. Some more cream. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good bite. Look at that. Alright. It's pretty good, but I'd have to say that the Whole Foods one was a lot better. I do like the yellow cake in it though. And also, this isn't really whipped cream, it's almost like like more frosting-y. Yeah, it's like an extra whipped cream because it's like, it's kind of heavy. It's like thick like cake frosting. Good though. Okay. That's that. Now, for the package. So, this is from Massachusetts, Cambridge. All right. Okay. Cambridge, Mass. Here we get a letter. Let's uh, let's um, let's open this stuff up. Whoa! What is this? No way! <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. <laughs> Do not worry. Be happy. <laughs> That's the motto I live by. Yes, that is epic. Yo, we got some more. Lindor treats, these Lindor balls. I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump everything out. Ooh. All right, let me, uh, let me read the letter first. Cod, we got a cod. Hello. <laughs> Dear Nick, I hope you'll enjoy these snacks from Austria and Switzerland and we'll taste test them on one of your cheat days. I love watching all your videos and they really help me through my diet and cravings. A huge thank you for everything. I know your love for coconut, strawberries, and donuts, so I tried getting more of those things. I saw this donut bag and I just had to get it for you. Keep up the great work and keep doing what you love. Wishing you the very best. Hope you'll succeed in everything you wish for. Lots of love and support. Team Big Bites, Victoria. Thank you so much, Victoria. I really, really appreciate it. And man, that's super awesome. That donut bag is awesome. And uh, yeah, she's from Massachusetts, apparently. Well, lives in Massachusetts. Well, the box came from Massachusetts, and that's where I am from. So it does have um, the listed snacks here. So there's some Austrian snacks, as well as some snacks from Switzerland. So we do have, okay, here we go with my terrible pronunciation. Shiko Benin, Shiko Benin. Probably terrible pronunciation. Probably way off. But this is like chocolate covered banana. We do have, ooh, chocolate covered raspberries. We do have some rag, rag USA? Rag, ragusa. <laughs> rag, great, ragusa classic. Uh, this is man, manja. I don't know what manja is. We have two of those. Uh, oh no, this one's called sweetie. Sweaty, sweetie, sweaty, sweetie. <laughs> And then this one is Manor Wean Snack, so it's a Milch Schlocko, Milch Schlocko. <laughs> then Torino, I don't know what Torino is. Then we do have a little, like little biscuit thing here, Blas, Blas, Blaskish, Blaskish. <laughs> then over here we do have Calia. I believe, again, sorry guys for butchering these words. Um, the package, um, card, and then Lindor's, and then 
Yeah, yeah I think that's a. Uh, Let's, uh, let's dig in. So I think first, I want, I want to go with this one. So where is this one from? Okay, so this one is from Austria, and I've never been to Austria. I definitely want to go to Austria one day. Arnold Schwarzenegger is from Austria, so I always wanted to go there. So let's uh, give this a try. Oh, it's almost like a, a, a wafery chocolate type thing. Whoa. Wow, that's crazy. It, it's like, it has like a, a, like a rich buttery taste to it. Wow, that's really good. Holy moly. Yeah, so it's like milk chocolate coconut, but it's like really like, like almost like buttery coconutty. Wow, that is really good. Wow. Austria coming through. Let's do another Austrian snack. Sweetie, right here, this is, uh, I guess this is like a, a peanut snack. It says over here, peanut. Let's give it a try. Looks like a, a chocolate bar. Whoa. It's, it's like super moussey. Like look how soft it is, ready? Mm. So it's peanut buttery, but like it's not like super thick like peanut butter. It's like really like fluffy and soft. Wow. Oh, and then manja. Manja, this one is, oh, it says hazelnut. I wonder if it's like Nutella. <laughs> I've had some bad experiences with Nutella. Oh, this one just came apart. So yeah, we do have hazelnut inside. Wow, that's really good too. Like, it's crazy. Like, it just like dissolves. It's so soft. It just like flattens. Damn, that was bomb. All right, now, actually, let's open this ice cream because I don't have a drink yet. So the vanilla Swiss almond Hagen Dogs ice cream. I think this thing's like a thousand calories. Get some chocolate chips in there. Is that chocolate chips? Mmm. Yeah, it's vanilla, but yeah, it has like a, a nutty taste to it. It's got almond in it. Mmm. That's good. Okay, next let's try, let's try out one of these Torinos. Let's see what this baby's all about. This is from Switzerland. It's like a, it's very nutty. It almost tastes like walnuts. Wow, that's really good. Mm. It reminds me of like, you know when you crack open like the walnuts with the, with the crackers, you, um, or the splitters, whatever those things are called. And then um, you eat the walnuts, and then you know like the aftertaste from the walnut? That's exactly what it says. I might be wrong, it might be hazelnut. So yeah, let's eat this other one. Was a bomb. All right, next let's try out this Draggy Kiski. Drag Draggy Kisi. This is from Austria. Another Austrian snack, and I love fruit, so let's try it out. Okay, so the little like chocolate raspberries. Oh yeah. Whoa, it's like a a cracker biscuit inside, but like a strong 
a raspberry taste to it. Wow. These things are unique. You would never expect something that looks like that to have that raspberry taste. Wow, that is super good. And these Austrians got it down. Need some ice cream to wash it down. Hmm. Yeah, these are bomb. Yeah, I'm starting to kind of get like pretty satisfied, so I want to at least try everything. Those raspberry ones are really good. So these are banana. So this is from this is from Austria as well. I wonder if it's like the same thing, but banana. Yo, that smells so good. Check it out. A little banana shaped chocolates. Wow. They're like nice and soft. Yeah, that's good. Tell me, fruit seriously make the best desserts. Strawberry shortcake, bananas, raspberries. They do it, man. They do it. Hmm. So those again. Now, um, let's try out the ragusa. Is it ragusa? Is that right? Rag ragusa? Ragusa. Ragusa? Ragusa? Classique. This one is from Switzerland. Switzerland is known for that good chocolate, right? Swiss chocolate? Or is that rock? I don't know. Sorry, I don't mean to... I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just always heard that Swiss chocolate's really good. Well, this thing's pretty interesting. Well, it's like a block. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's like an, another hazelnutty treat. Wow, man, these hazelnut snacks are bomb. Oh, chocolate. It reminds me of like a, a super soft melted like Hershey's almond bar. You know when the Hershey almond bar gets like super soft if it's like warm, but then you have like the crunch from the almonds in it. Yeah, it's like really rich, but bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna just finish off this ice cream and then be done for the night. I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. Well, all right, that's it for the food for today. So a huge Thank you to Victoria for sending me over those treats all the way from Massachusetts and the treats are from Switzerland and Austria. So that was really, really cool to try out those different candies from the different countries. So again, a huge thank you, Victoria. I really appreciate it. So another fun day. I'm really stoked that my ankle's feeling a lot better. I'll be skating more and yeah, things are, uh, things are looking up. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.